So remember this. And this. We wondered if it was a coup attempt. Well, maybe it kind of was. But not because of these guys. Because of him, Peter Navarro, and the plan he called the Green Bay Sweep, which is a football reference. But we'll get to that. Let's start with who Peter Navarro is. Peter Navarro joined the Trump administration fairly early on. This is Philip Bump. He's our national correspondent and politics guy. The story goes that Jared Kushner was looking for an expert on China, uh, ended up on Amazon and found some books that Peter Navarro had written. He ended up joining the Trump administration, served in an advisory capacity working on trade issues. I uh, was also involved in the early pandemic response as well. Uh, but as Donald Trump's term wound down, Navarro really took a lead role within the administration of amplifying these false assertions uh, that the election had been stolen. We're talking about this now because Navarro just published another book, and in it he unveils the grand plan to keep Trump in power. According to Navarro, uh, he and former Trump advisor and former Breitbart head Steve Bannon had come up with this plan that they called the Green Bay Sweep. <laughs> Navarro's Green Bay Sweep is named after a football play. It was probably the most defining play of the 1960s, and it was immortalized by the Packers of Vince Lombardi. This is David Marinus. He's an associate editor at The Post, and he wrote a book about Vince Lombardi. It's a play that the Packers perfected because they ran it over and over again with many options on where the running back could go. It's an end run, meaning the ball carrier attempts to run wide around the end of the line. It starts with the ball hiked to the quarterback. Then he either laterals it or hands it off to the halfback or fullback, the running backs behind the quarterback. And they go either left or right around the end instead of going right through the line. And they're led by blockers, including the two offensive linemen who are called the guards, who pull out and block in front of them. So in this case, Mike Pence is the quarterback. The touchdown, or goal, was to send electoral votes back to the states. The running backs maybe are Jim Jordan and Ted Cruz. The two blocking guards, you might say, are Peter Navarro and Steve Bannon, who conceived this idea. Which may also make them coaches. The Vince Lombardi of the Republican Party though he would probably hate that. Right wingers seem to love Vince Lombardi, although he had no love for them. He was a Kennedy Democrat. The sweep may have worked for the Packers, but not so much for the Republicans. Navarro's plan couldn't work because his star quarterback, Mike Pence, was never on board. And then, of course, this happened. Even after the rioters broke into the Capitol, we saw that there weren't enough legislators to actually stop the electoral votes from being counted. It seems very likely that the reason this is being talked about now is to try and suggest that Trump's plan specifically excluded violence. Now that there is this emphasis on the role of the administration and on Trump himself in what occurred on January 6th, uh, and that they were actually on track through a peaceful mechanism that actually got subverted after the rioters broke into the Capitol. I think they'd call this a fumble or foul ball or whatever. I'm not a sports guy. 